Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I install and style my 5.5 HD lace closure wig. Stay tuned. all right so Eunice has done it with this hair oh my gosh it is so soft it doesn't tangle it's just beautiful hair back in the day y'all I used to always wave my hair like I was the queen of waving hair the problem was I was damaging my own hair thank god for lace wigs cuz uh-uh all right so the hair came in this box and inside was a stocking cap in which i was so excited about the hair that i didn't even notice that this stocking cap was in there it also came with the attachable um this you would just i believe you would sew it on um to make the wig fit a little tighter but don't work my words y'all because i haven't even taken the time to look and see how you actually attach the band so i don't know i'm assuming you would sew it on but i don't know i have to look at it this is how the wig looks in its natural state i ordered body wave 24 inch hd lace closure um it is pre-plucked but i had to pluck it again after bleaching the knots and plucking the wig some more, I went ahead and I sprayed the wig down using my Chi protectant spray. It's important to use a protectant because this is human hair and it does have a curl pattern and you don't wanna mess that up. I then went in and I started to press the hair with the pressing comb. I have it on the highest it can get. This pressing comb does not get as hot as I would like it to, but maybe it's hot enough. I don't know. What I'm doing is I'm trying to flatten the hair all the way around because we don't want our wig to look big and bulky. To make sure it's right, I then go back in with my Gots To Be Glued Free Spray and then I give it another press through. Then before I actually start my styling, I like to spray it down with a holding hairspray first. This one that I'm using is by ISO Plus. It's a 24 hour holding spray. And then I proceed to crinkling. Or what do you guys call it today? Is it crinkling, crimping? I don't know. <laughs> Waving is what I call it. And as you can see, I am waving the hair all the way down to the end. I'm taking my time starting from the root, going all the way down to the end. And I am making sure that I get each crinkle in the pocket. And I am so sorry, but I'm gonna have to fast forward it cause I know you all don't wanna see an hour long video. I am taking my time. I'm starting off in sections, starting with the left side, and I'm working my way to the right side. see how neat it's coming out that's why you want to take your time you don't want to rush through it because if you rush through it it's definitely going to look like that and this is the bed head crimp iron you can find it at Ulta I paid like $31.99 for it I really love this crimped iron. It's probably the best one I ever had. It gets hot super fast and it's also adjustable. You can make the waves deep or you can make them small or 
I just like the fact that I got options. Now for the install. Because I'm not comfortable with glue, I'm using the Gots To Be Glued freezing spray along with the Gots To Be um, in the black tube. I don't have much on my finger. I'm taking a little bit and I'm smoothing a thin layer of the gel across my forehead, not touching my hair. And yes, I use my fingers. I mean, it's just gel. And I don't know, I just like using my fingers. I even use my fingers with my makeup. Next, I take the freezing spray and I spray that across my hairline. Not touching my hairline, but y'all know what I mean. And then I work that in and let it set for about it was about like two um was it even i don't it's, it was about a minute or two before it started to get sticky you want to make sure it starts to feel sticky and then you want to proceed to installing the lace carefully i am placing the lace down right in front of my hairline i'm sorry y'all that i was getting out of frame but right right in front of my hairline I'm, I place or let me say this I melt <laughs> the lace I'm just gently adjusting it trying to make sure that it's centered right then I'm just trying to get a feel of where I want my baby hair to go, if I want it two on the side, one in the middle, or I'm just trying to get the placement right. Now I'm using mustache scissors. This is my first time using mustache scissors, but it's really no different. The only difference is it's, it's small. I'm fanning to make sure that it's dry enough. I then go in and starting from the right side, I cut a straight line into the lace, a straight line. And then I slowly cut one in the middle. And I stop right where the gots to be glued is. Then you want to go ahead and cut the other side. Now, before you do all of this, make sure that you guys take some alcohol and make sure your forehead is not oily because our hair creates oil really. I know, I know mine does really fast. So I had to make sure everything was clean. So just make sure there's nothing on your forehead. See, I am carefully, carefully 
cutting off the lace and you see that first side is melted. I can't see it. Look, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling in the video because it's melted. I am too close. I had to switch to my vlog camera. And so I'm looking in the mirror and I'm trying to make sure it's right. So I'm so sorry. And so you see, I'm not trying to necessarily cut a straight line. I'm just trying to be careful and not mess up the lace. Um, and what you're seeing on my forehead, that is my makeup and skin peeling. Not, that's not the lace. I noticed that it was some lace that was sticking up on the side. So then I had to go back in and spray it with the gel and press it down for about 30 seconds. taking the end of the comb and I'm pressing the lace down and I'm gonna um, cut some more of it off because that end the other end is kind of raggedy compared to my other end And I know it's looking a little crazy, just a little bit on this side, but watch, I'm about to fix all that. We got some other steps to go. So the baby hair was getting on my nerves. Now I'm known as the pro when it comes to all baby hair, um, when it comes to doing my own hair. So I had to step away and go in the bathroom, turn on some bright lights and like really, really play around with the baby hair. It's just a million and one ways you can do baby hair. So then you see I sprayed a little bit more Gots to Be Glued freezing spray in the middle of my um, lace and I am tying on my elastic band and what this is going to do is just help everything melt even better. That lace is going to melt some more and you're going to notice that that baby hair is laid. I was so excited, y'all. I had to do a whole Beyonce concert after I finished my hair. Like, I was that excited. Please let me know in the comments down below if you want me to show you how I bleached my knots. That was the process I did not like. Thanks again for tuning back into my video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.